Good morning, what's going on guys? Uh, it is about six o'clock in the morning. Uh, I appreciate you guys uh, uh, joining me this early. Uh, well, of course, it's probably not that early for you guys, uh, but it is uh, early for me. Uh, I'm doing a uh, Crestron Flex install, uh, and I'm hoping this is gonna be a pretty quick video because this is a pretty uh, sweet system that, uh, that Crestron has come up with, um, and, uh, and it's pretty, pretty easy uh, to install. Uh, you can just go over the quick uh, components here. Uh, so as you can see, I did get the, uh, the UC Bracket 100 assembly. Uh, and that comes with the uh, with the actual Windows 10 uh, PC, and it also comes with the uh, HD uh, uh, converter USB 200. I'm also going to be installing a AirMedia 300 uh, behind the TV, and a, uh, a DMTX uh, 4KZ 200C, I think is the uh, model number. I'll put it on the screen here. Uh, basically, that'll just allow us to have HDMI connectivity at the table, uh, and then the AirMedia that's behind the TV. Uh, of course, will allow us to have to wirelessly uh, present when we're not in a uh, in a Skype meeting. I did want to give you one uh, one brief uh, caveat when you are installing the uh, the UC bracket on the wall, you do want to make sure that the power supply for the UC engine is reachable while the TV is up, because there are certain uh, Windows updates that happen and they will crash your Windows uh, your Windows 10 PC. Uh, that may be uh, just a network that we're on here, uh, but uh, but I've, I've installed about 200 of these, uh, and it, it happens, uh, it's, it's happened to every single one of them uh, multiple times, uh, and we've had them all for about, uh, for about six months. Uh, so it's really important to, uh, to be able to have access to this, um, this power supply. If it's a building where you don't have any AV staff on site, you really need to be able to tell the person on the phone, reach behind the TV, bottom right hand side, uh, there's a brick, you know, unplug it, you know, count the 20 and then plug it back in and then everything should uh, should come back up. All right, so let's uh, let's get this up on the uh, wall. All right, so here is the conference room uh, that we are installing the uh, the uh, Crestron Flex system in. Uh, TV is going here. We're going to put the UC bracket uh, behind the TV and we're going to put the Air Media 300 behind the TV. Uh, you got to do some uh, networking uh, first. You got to make sure you've got uh, at least two uh, hot network ports uh, behind the TV. Uh, one will be for the UC, uh, and then the other one is for the Air Media. Uh, we're lucky enough to have some connect track uh, in this room right here, because uh, we are going to put the transmitter underneath the table, and we have to run an additional uh, shielded CAT6 cable from the transmitter uh, through the connect track, uh, and it's going to actually come, we're gonna, I'm going to put a different plate on here, and it's going to come out of here, and we're going to go into the DMN on the Air, on the Air Media 300. Quick note, when you're taking off any network plates, Save the uh, port numbers because you need those port numbers to make sure that the ports are active and make sure you stick those back on the plates, the wall plates. We've got all the uh, equipment mounted here. Uh, I've got the, uh, the UC bracket here. I've got the Air Media 300 here. It's important to make some, uh, uh, to make some measurements uh, because you need to know where the center of your TV is going to be and you need to know how far out your TV is going to go because you want to make sure that this isn't sticking out through the side of your uh, TV. And my TV is going to come uh, right here. I'm gonna put one of the hooks right here. I'm gonna put the other hook is gonna mount right here. I've got networks gotta go into here. So I gotta run a network from here to the UC. I've gotta run a network from here to the air media. Uh, I pulled this cable uh, to the table through the connect track and that's gotta go to my DM in. All right, so all the, the only piece of uh, equipment left to install is, uh, is, is I've gotta put the sound bar. Uh, I'm gonna put the sound bar here. Uh, and all the cabling uh, for this is, you know, USB cables and HDMI cables and power cables. It actually all comes in a kit. And so does this pre-termed uh, 10 gig um, uh, Shielded Cat 6 cable. Uh, so the kit is really a pretty turnkey uh, kit. I mean, it comes with everything. Uh, I mean, except for the, uh, except for the television. Uh, let me show you the TX that we have underneath the table. Here's our TX. Uh, and we got, some, we got to do a little bit of cable management here. Uh, we're putting some stuff in, uh, in some snake skin here. So we got power and two network cables that we are running up to the table. All right, one more quick update. Uh, so I've got, again, I've got everything mounted and I've got all the cables routed minus uh, what goes down to the uh, sound bar, which I do not have mounted yet. So looking directly at the UC, I've got a uh, network running here. Uh, this is the USB that's gonna run down to, um, to the sound bar, uh, which is down here. Uh, and then I've got this right here, which is the HDMI, it's actually a USB-C comes around here and this is the HDMI input that's going to go into the television. Uh, this is the power supply for the UC. And remember I said that we need to make sure we can unplug that. The end of the TV is going to be right here. So this will be able to, so we'll be able to power cycle the UC uh, pretty easily. 
Um, I've got my intermediate here. I've got my, my LAN cable uh, plugged in here. LAN over here, and then, you know, and remember, it's important to use uh, Velcro, not zip ties on network cables. Got my two, I got my, for my UC and for my air media. And this is the DM cable uh, that I got plugged in here. And I'm going out of the HDMI out. You gotta remember, do not go to the input. The DM is the input, the HDMI is the output. And I've got the HDMI uh, going to the uh, uh, USB uh, 200, which then is USB up into the UC. One thing that I forgot to mention is you got you got to always remember you are going to have to come back here and you're going to have to maintain these uh, uh, this equipment. It is going to be difficult to get to the 300 here, so I do have a USB uh, plugged into the console control port, and I'm just going to leave this coiled up uh, behind the TV. Uh, the TV is going to be about here, so I'm just going to so the, the, these these cables are going to be hidden, but this cable um, will be up under the TV. Uh, these ta these cables I still need to dress. I've just got those twisty tied uh, in place. Uh, we're going to mount the TV and we're going to see exactly how much space we have and figure out where we're going to mount the sound bar. All right, so we just dropped the TV uh, and we went ahead and we uh, drew our lines for our, uh, for our mount. We pulled out our, uh, our magic laser level uh, and so we've got everything perfect. I've got to cut a hole out here uh, for the two cables. I've got to run a uh, power cable and a USB cable uh, for the, uh, the sound bar. We'll drop them in up here and uh, pull them out down here. All right, we've got everything completely wired up. Uh, everything is powered. Uh, the only thing that we are missing is the TV, uh, but the TV is right here. So if you see, I got my sound bar. When you do fold the sound bar up, you got to be really careful because this 90 degree um, USB is really brittle, and this this cable can uh, can break a lot. So you got to be careful. Make sure these guys are out of the way when you flip this up. So we're going to toss this TV up here, and uh, we're going to start configuring. So once I was able to get the you see, which is behind the TV uh, on the network. And I was able to get the 1060 panel right here on the network. Uh, I went ahead and configured my 1060 panel first, and this is how I did it. Again, I apologize for the glare, but so initially when you plug in your 1060 panel, you will not see this, uh, this screen. What you're gonna see is you're gonna see in the center, it's gonna say connection error. Uh, it's gonna say, you know, unable to connect. But down here uh, in the bottom, you're gonna see the IP address for the 1060 panel. If you don't see the IP here, if it says 00.00.00, .00 what you need to do is you need to put um, five fingers on this and you need to hold this here for 20 seconds. You just gotta make sure all five of your fingers are on this. And then you see right here, it says entering setup. And it's gonna show you your MAC address and your IP here momentarily. Since I already configured this, I set it up with a username and password, but since it'll be your first time, you'll get the setup screen here uh, and it'll tell you exactly what your IP address is. Let me exit out of this. And what you need to do is when you, when you have that IP address, you need to then go to a browser on your computer that is on the same network. And so again, I have a username and password, uh, but you will not have a username and password for yours. So it'll load up, it will load just like this. And there's quite a few things that you can do in here, but really the only thing that you have to do is you're gonna go up here to settings, you're gonna click on the settings tab. And then you're gonna go down here to applications, which is down here at the bottom. And for my purposes, we are using uh, Teams Video and you need to get your host name for your uh, UC engine and the host name is on the sticker that's on the front of uh, the actual UC and this this team's video PC port where it says 49 uh, 500 that'll automatically um, populate uh, and then your username and then you have to enter your username and your password that you set up the username when they come out of the box is admin and the password is SFB uh, and that'll be what your username and password is and you'll want to change that, obviously, for security reasons, which which I have already done. So once you copy and paste the host name uh, and you put admin and your password, you will go up here and you will hit uh, save changes. And once it connects, it'll look just like this. Uh, your 1060 panel is going to look like this. I'm actually going to remote in from my computer uh, using the Crestron remote app uh, just because there's a little bit less of a glare. Uh, so once you have uh, your 1060 set up and it is uh, communicating uh, with the UC engine, 
uh, you need to then configure your UC engine. So you need to go through here and you need to select, select more. And then you need to select settings. And then you need to put in your password. And then you basically can just walk yourself down here. I apologize for covering this, uh, but you have to type in your username and your password uh, for the account here. Meetings. Uh, and right here we have automatically screen sharing. We have turned off, but you can have that turned on if you'd like. And then we have show meeting names. So that means the meeting name will show up on the 1060 panel. So I have that turned on. And you can click down here to devices. Uh, right now we have one screen. So I do not have this dual monitor set up, but if you have two screens, you will want to select that. And then you go down to peripherals and you need to make sure that you have the sound bar selected for each of these. Uh, and then you can come down here and you can select themes. Uh, I just have purple paradise selected and then you're going to hit um, save and exit, but I've already done it. So I'm going to exit without saving. And then from that point, you have your UC is logged into the proper Skype account. Uh, your 1060 panel is connected to it. So you can uh, make phone calls. You can do everything that you can make. You can make video calls. Uh, you can do everything that you expect to be able to do with the 1060 panel. Uh, the only other thing that I usually do is I go in and I set a preset for uh, the camera. Uh, and I can show you how to do that. So again, you're going to go in here and you're going to hit more. You're going to hit settings. And then you're going to go down here to Windows settings right here, and you're going to select that bad boy. All right. And so now you can see, you know, I'm remoted right in. So what I need to do is I need to come down here and I need to hit administrator. I want it to be administrator mode, and then I need to type in my password. And this will actually bring me into the um, Windows side. So now it's just like a regular computer where I can go online. So basically you want to go down here to the Windows icon. You want to go up to the Crestron folder. You want to go to Crestron settings. You want to go to your USB camera. And here's the camera. The camera's right there. So you see, this is me live. Hello, how you doing? And you can see here, it's the same thing on my 1060 panel. Uh, so basically you want to, the cameras that come with these are Hudley IQ cameras. Uh, the Hudley IQ is, is, a, is a pretty nifty uh, camera. Uh, basically it finds people's faces. Uh, and if so, there's people sitting all around the table, but only one person is talking, uh, it actually zooms in on that one person. But if everybody's talking back and forth, uh, it'll do a wide shot. If there's only one person in the room, it'll zoom in directly on uh, that one person. And I think that's pretty cool, uh, but the client uh, actually thinks it's a little bit annoying that the camera kind of moves around. Uh, so I'm gonna show you guys how to set a preset so that it doesn't move around. All right, so we are back uh, remoted into our 1060 panel. Uh, so basically what you want to do is you wanna make sure that this is turned off. The Hudley IQ camera setting is turned off. And then scroll back up to the top. You want to select preset one. So, so it'll be on none and you want to turn the Hudley IQ off and then you want to set pre, you want to set your preset one and then you can do all your zoom and pan. So you can see if I hit this, the camera will zoom in. Hello, hello, hello. I'm zooming in. Uh, you can tilt the camera up. You know, you can pan left. You know, basically you just set the camera exactly exactly how you want it. And then you come down here and you hit done. Uh, I'm not gonna do that because I already had my preset set. And once you do that, your system is completely set up and, and ready to go. I use these systems quite a bit for all of our meetings. So I'm going to um, get back out of here. System. So now if I go back to my USB camera, my settings should be the same. Uh, yep, see, so the camera automatically set back. So I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna hit done. And right now we're logged into the computer as an admin. So we wanna go down here to the start menu. We wanna click the start menu. We wanna go up to this little person icon right here. And we want to log out. We wanna sign out. And then when we sign out, 
we're going to sign back into the Skype side. And you can see down here, so I can log in as an administrator of Skype, so I'm going to hit Skype. Uh, and it already remembers the username and password, uh, so I'm just going to hit Sign In. As you can see, it is pretty easy. Uh, this is a pretty easy install. Uh, the install is easy. Um, everything that you need comes uh, with the kit. Uh, it doesn't take long at all to mount, uh, and as long as you don't have any network issues, uh, once you have it, uh, once you have the UC on the network and you have the uh, the 1060 on the network, and of course, and you know, I have an Air Media 300 uh, in there as well. Once everything is on the network, literally configuring it takes as long as I just showed you. I mean, it was it's it's really quick uh, and really easy. Uh, if you guys have uh, any questions at all, uh, please leave them uh, leave them down below. Uh, I did have to configure the Air Media 300. Uh, if you guys have any questions on that, uh, please let me know and I can either answer them or I'll post uh, another video. If you did enjoy this video, uh, please give it a thumbs up. A thumbs up certainly helped me. And if this is your first time to my channel, please subscribe. Have yourself a great day. See you.